friends today in this video we are going to take this question from ncrt mathematics textbook for class 9th it is this core textbook and today in this video we are going to solve this question from chapter number 4 linear equation sign two variables x is 4.1 question number 2 so today we are going to solve this question which is from the chapter of linear equations of two variables and this question states express the following linear equations in the form ax plus b5 plus c equals 0 and indicate the values of a, b, c in each case. So there are 8 parts in this question. I am going to solving for about 4 to 5 parts and rest you are going to be able to solve it yourself. So first of all my friends I will want to tell you that ax plus b, y plus c in this expression equals 0. Here a, b, c are constants and x and y are the variables. And in this case, it is the standard form of a linear equations in two variables. As we can see, there are two variables, x and y, a, b, c are the constants. So the question is asking us that we have to figure out the values of a, b, c in each case and there are different values. So let's start with the first part, which we have some fractions and decimals. I'm going to be picking up the hard parts first. So in this question, that is the two first part, we have... 2x plus 3y is equal to a 9.35 bar. So it is asking us to find the value of a, b, and c. A, in this case, a is the constant with x variable, b is the constant with y variable, and c is the low number. It has no variable. So the mistake which most of the students actually make is that they directly write a equals to be 2, b equals to be 3, and c is equal to be 9.35 bar, and they give this the answer, but actually it's the wrong answer because the form is incorrect. Here, in this case, 9.35 has to be in the left hand side, as it is in this question is. But here, 9.35 is in the right hand side, so due to which here C value would be wrong. So before any solving this type of questions, first of all, what we have to do is, we have to first of all make sure that all the variables or numbers are at the one side of the equation, that is left hand side. So here, 9.35 is in the right hand side, so we are going to subtract both sides by 9.35 bar that is by like this which we can done directly also so this will going to give us 2x plus 3y minus 9.35 bar equals 0 it will going to give this value and now as the all the variables are at the left hand side we can directly compare so ax if we compare so we get a equals to be 2 by direct comparison because a is with x and if we get x is 2 here with b is plus 3, we have to also make sure that the signs are also there. As there is a plus sign and here is also a plus sign, so we can directly write b is 3. And for the c part, c would be minus 9.35 bar, but minus 9.35 bar, because here c has a plus sign, but here we have a minus sign. And because we can rewrite this equation as plus negative 9.35 bar. So by direct comparison, we get C as to be as a negative value. So basic number of friends, in summary, to solve these type of questions, first of all, to make sure that all the numbers are the left hand side. Second of all, we have to also make sure the signs are correct because C has a plus sign, B has a plus sign. A also has a plus sign, which we don't show. Here in this case, we have a minus sign, so the answer would be minus. So we have to also make sure the signs. These are the only two things we have to make sure and the questions are otherwise very easy and really straightforward. So just for a different example, we are going to take one more example in this case. So for example here, we have, for example in this case, the third part. So for the third part of this question, that is uh, minus 2x plus 3y equals 6. Same thing, very similar thing we are going to do. That is the third part, we have minus 2x plus 3y equals 6. We are going to subtract 6 both sides, so we can minus 2x plus 3y minus 6 to 0 by shifting to the other side minus 6 both sides or we can do directly also so by direct comparison ax plus by plus c equals 0 so a becomes minus 2 we can directly compare if you are any having any difficulty so you can write ax plus by plus c equals 0 just below it just as i have written right now so we will get a equals minus 2 here and b is 3 because both have plus signs so we have no problem in this sign here b is 3 and for the c we have minus 6 because there is a minus sign and here is plus minus so that's why c would be minus 6 here so this will be the values minus 2 3 minus 6 
so here for the first part and third part i solved here so now we are going to just solve some more parts so that we can uh, uh, ensure that you are clear with this concept so in this question here we are going to i'm going to take the sixth part for example in this part in this video so in the sixth part of this video in this question it is 3x plus 2 equals 0 here there is no value of y given so in such questions we have to introduce the value of y by ourselves so here we go so for the sixth part the problem which you might face is 3x plus 2 equals 0 here we have no y variable at all so in this case when there is no y variable or no x variable you have to do nothing but you have to instead introduce it yourself we want a y variable but if I add y to y 3y, it will change the equation. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 0y. So we will get simply, we will get here 3x plus 0y plus 2 equals 0. So think about my friends. In this case, the value of expression doesn't change. 0 to y 0 only. Anything plus if I add anything to 0, it will be have same value. 2 plus 0 is 2. I am making no change in the equation. If I add 1y, 2y, 3y, it will change the equation, which we don't want. So you have to add 0y. By doing it is uh, this way, but the benefit we have got is that we are able to introduce a y in the equation without actually altering the equation. So again, we are going to directly just compare it. ax plus by plus c equals 0. So in this case, again, we are going to just directly compare. We will get as3. No sign uh, difference because 3 is positive. B is 0 because in this case uh, there is no y variable that's why it will be 0 and c would be plus 2. Again positive 2 because there is no minus sign. So like this we get the values and if there is no x term for example then we have to add 0x. And for example here we have solved the first part, the third part and the sixth part for example. For the second part again there are two minus signs here. So I'm going to just going to skip these two values so that we're going to do yourself because it will be for your homework. So now just for the last example for this video, I'm to, for, to make sure that you are clear with this concept. Here we're going to just simply take one more example. For example, fifth part. So for the fifth part we have 2x equals minus 5y. So in this case simply again, we are going to first of all make sure that all the terms are the left hand side. Because in 6th part it was already there so that's why I didn't mention it. So this will give us 2x plus 5y equals 0. This time x term is there, y term is there but constant term, the c term is not there. So again we have to add 0. So when there is no constant term, we can simply add 0 which we are not going to change the equation like this. It is the same thing. So again we are going to add 0 in this case and the benefit we were getting is that we introduced the constant term also. So again, by direct comparison, if we just directly compare this, so we get directly compare this, so we get a equals to be as 2, plus 2 because no sign difference is there, b would be 5, and c would be 0, because 0 is there, because we have add 0 on our own. So my friends, so we have done the four parts of this question, so the rest of the parts will be as homework. In eighth question, for example, y term is missing. First of all, we are going to take all the terms in the left hand side and add 0y. Similarly, for the seventh part, it is y minus 2. So add the x term. Other terms and other equations are pretty similar, which is the thing which I just told you. So they will be as your homework. And you can always confirm the answers by the NCRT, the pages which they gave. So thank you my friends for watching this video.